Normani has been called the next Beyonce on many occasions, but so far, her musical career has yet to take off. Why is that? What does the future hold for her? And who is Normani at her core? Let's take a look at her natal chart. So Normani is a Gemini sun, so she's naturally very multifaceted. And Normani is known to be a pop girl, but also an R&B girl. She appeals to several different demographics. So she kind of lives that double life and tries to be a lot of things to a lot of people all at once. And she likes to dabble into different avenues. She enjoys variety, but can be a bit too scattered and unfocused. She can also tend to listen to other people's opinions too often instead of listening to her own intuition and her own truth. And as a result, she has no clear sense of self. And this is reinforced by her Venus also being in Gemini because Venus rules your artistry, your style, the way you present yourself to others, the way you relate to others. So that confusion can be seen in her musical path so far. Normani's sun is also forming a sesco quadra to her Neptune, which can make Normani doubt herself a lot. She might be someone who cares a lot about what other people think of her. She's very self-critical. She wants to cater to society's opinions so much that she's willing to let other people dictate her artistic direction. That Gemini influence can also make Normani a trans chaser and someone who needs to remain in the know, remain relevant in the eyes of the press and the media and even though she hasn't released new music in a while now normani stays busy with modeling gigs endorsement deals she also features in music videos and gemini people are very restless they have to be doing something all the time normani's gemini sun is forming a trine to her aquarius uranus which can point to her being in fifth harmony and her needing to rely on a group because like i said she doesn't know how to stand on her own she doesn't have a clear sense of self and normani said it herself during an interview she always dreamed of being in a group like destiny's child her son uranus trying can also reinforce her not being the typical black artist and Armani can do all types of music genre and this is something she shouldn't be ashamed of she's meant to stand out deviate from the norm and carve out her own niche and redefine what it means to be a black female musician normani is a scorpion moon and her moon is conjunct to her sagittarius pluto so she likes to operate in secrecy she enjoys her pride privacy and this can give her this mysterious aura. Her moon is forming a sextile to her Neptune which can make her very artistic, creative, and very spiritual. But her moon and her Neptune are forming a quincunx to her Gemini Venus so this can point to Normani being too idealistic and waiting for the right moment as opposed to just releasing the damn music. And every time she's asked about her album, Normani always replies with something along the lines of when God tells me to release the album, I release it. Scorpio Moon individuals can be very controlling. They like to hold on to power and Normani has said multiple times that she is a perfectionist. And this can stem from her early life since the moon deals with your upbringing. And Normani did compete in dance, gymnastics, and beauty pageants when she was little. So she's used to always having to be the best. Her Scorpio moon is opposing her Taurus Mars, which can create a very competitive child. It can also make someone very reactive and very vigilant. And that could be due to the fact that a Moon-Mars opposition can manifest as a child being in a dangerous, alarming, even sometimes life-threatening situation. And Normani was raised in New Orleans, but she had to relocate to Pearlin, Texas after Hurricane Katrina in 2005. And a few years before that, her mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. So Normani was exposed to a lot of dark, ugly stuff at an early age, and she had to quickly develop a thick skin and learn how to become strong on her own. And all of this is reinforced by the fact that Normani is an Aries South node, which can point to a rough and turbulent early life. And this also reinforces Versus Normani being too fixated on winning, on being number one, like losing is not an option for her. She has this all or nothing type of mentality. Scorpio moon individuals can also be very paranoid and prone to irrational fears. And in Normani's case, it could be the fear of failure since so many people have high expectations of her. People like Beyonce, Rihanna, and even Janet Jackson. So Normani might be overwhelmed and feel like she needs to fulfill this unreasonable standard of musical excellence, but she needs to 
realize that her first album won't be her only album and if she doesn't nail it on the first try she can try again on future albums. Normani's Mars and Mercury being conjunct in the sign of Taurus can point to Normani being a great singer and a great dancer since Taurus is the sign of music, voice, and vocal cords. Especially with her Neptune and her Jupiter forming a shrine to her Mars and her Mercury so that's a very good placement for a career in the arts. This Mars Mercury Taurus placement can also explain why Normani tends to take her time, especially when it comes to making decisions and writing music. Taurus is a sign of stability, so it likes to proceed slowly in order to build long-lasting foundations. So this reinforces Normani's perfectionism because she wants to make sure that her music is enduring and timeless. Mercury also represents your work environment, so that Mars Mercury conjunction could manifest as conflict in the workplace surrounding music and I know that Normani's label has received backlash for not properly promoting Normani or capitalizing on opportunities. Normani also allegedly has been shut down or dismissed every time she had ideas of her own. So her label might be the type who's very rigid and conservative when it comes to Normani's artistic direction. They might try to put her in a box like it's either pop or it's either R&B but you can do both. And since Normani's Mercury and Mars are opposing her moon, she might do what's considered right and rational instead of doing what she truly wants to do deep down in her soul. And Normani is a Scorpio moon, so there might be some mistrust and manipulation between her and her label, as well as issues surrounding power and control. Normani's Mercury and Mars are also forming a semi-square to her Saturn, which reiterates this theme of musical-related restrictions and frustrations. Her Saturn is an Aries, and Aries deals with new beginnings beginnings, independence, individuality, so this placement can bring delays in getting things started, getting the ball rolling. This also reinforces what I've been saying earlier about Normani struggling to stand alone without the help of a group. Normani might also attract people who are very inconsiderate, oppressive, and tyrannical in her life, so she has to learn how to stand up against that. Yes, RCA, I'm talking about you. Normani is a Libra North Node and it's being deposited by her Gemini Venus, which is retrograde. So in this lifetime, Normani has to embrace her beauty, her physical appearance, and she also needs to find a way to please as many people as possible since Libra is all about peacekeeping and looking at both sides, which points back to Normani's double-sided Gemini nature. She's destined to be a jack of all trades and not stick to only one path or one genre. However, with her Chiron conjunct to her North node, Normani is going to have to deal with a lot of criticism surrounding her artistry and her music along the way. People are going to call her phony, they might call her a sellout, if you're not black enough, you're not white enough where do you fit in? But Normani's gonna have to push through it all and stick to her guns because that, that is how she's supposed to evolve in this current lifetime. Normani also needs to be kinder towards herself. As I mentioned earlier, that Aries South Node can cause her to fixate too much on competition, but that Libra North Node requires her to take a more lighthearted approach to her art and find a pleasure in the journey. Normani also needs to learn how to not be a doormat. She needs to surround herself with people who understand her desires and are willing to work with her, not against her. And Libra is the sign of justice and law, so I could definitely see some legal disputes between Normani and her label in the future if things continue the way they do. She might also change labels in the future, who knows. Normani's Capricorn Jupiter is forming a square to her nodes, and Jupiter is the planet of luck, opportunities, growth, and expansion, so this placement can bring complications when it comes to achieving a certain level of success. In this lifetime, Normani needs to stop taking things for granted and rely on luck and faith and her optimistic beliefs that things will fall into place eventually. She needs to create her own luck, make a plan, set clear goals and deadlines as it pertains to her music. Music. because with Jupiter and Capricorn, her success will come through hard work and concrete actions. If you enjoyed this reading, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.